Hey, welcome to another edition of the Championship Muscle. We're at Metroflex Gym, Tampa, brand new location, the home of Championship Muscle. And today we're gonna to talk about drop sets, the hows and the whys you need to do them. Coming up after this. Hey guys, welcome to Championship Muscle. We're here at Metroflex Gym, Tampa, brand new location, the home of Championship Muscles. We're gonna talk about drop sets. I have made previous videos about drop sets in the past. I've got more people asking for more videos on drop sets, so we're gonna go over it again. I'm gonna kind of give you the Reader's Digest version, but why drop sets are so important to you is because of the volume of repetitions that you're able to get when you're doing your first set of drops. And I'll use an example of barbell curls. You start out with say 50 pounds, and I'm only using that as a number, 50 pounds. I always say the 25 rep range, but sometimes I go 35, 45. I rep it out as many as I can until I can't get anymore. That's a lot of reps. Most people don't get that many reps in a complete round of four sets of curls. And you just hit it on the first one. So you hit that high rep number, you drop the weight 10 pounds, maybe 15 pounds, maybe 20 pounds, it's up to you. But then you rep out the failure again. Failure doesn't have that number. It may be 10 reps, it may be 15, it may be 20. You stop when you can't do anymore. Then you lighten up the weight again. You rep it out to failure. You can be well over the 100 repetition range in that first round of drop sets. Like I just said, most people don't get that many reps in a complete body part workout doing three or four different exercises and you just killed it on the first set of the first exercise that sets the pace for the pump and an expression i've used in past videos is called blowing your load you need to get the mercury in that thermometer at the top or the blood in that muscle because as you continue your workout and you don't set the pace for that pump on that first exercise and the first set of drops you're never going to be able to get it down the road because you're expending energy. You're losing it. You're never going to be able to chase it and catch that pump to where it should have been placed at that first set. So now you move on to your second set of drops. You lighten up the weight a little bit, reps to failure. Drop the weight, reps to failure. Drop the weight, reps to failure. You rest up a minute. Now you're really feeling the blood starting to engorge that muscle. And it doesn't matter what body part. I'm only talking about biceps as an example. Now you can decide to do a third round of drops. Or you can decide to go on to another exercise. If you were going to do a third round, you drop the weight a little bit lighter. Reps to failure. Do another set. Reps to failure. Next exercise. So a lot of times when I'm doing my first exercise, I might superset the second exercise so one set of drops, go into another exercise, do a set of drops, go back and forth, or complete that first exercise with all the drop sets I'm gonna do, then go to the second exercise, complete that exercise with the three or two drop sets I'm gonna do, and then go to another exercise. Or I might try set them. Set of drops, first set of that, you know, first exercise, second exercise, set of drops, third exercise, set of drops. Do you see, guys, you see where I'm going with this? None of this is etched in stone that you have to do the first thing first and the second thing next and the third thing next. Mix it up. You never want to do the same thing every single workout. I never do the same workout twice. I'm always mixing things up no matter what body part I'm doing. The goal is getting that skin splitting pump. The goal is not following what the gym bro talk is that you got to do four sets of this and six to eight, 10 reps, and you got to rest up two or three minutes. That's a bunch of nonsense. It's a bunch of nonsense. You're hearing it from me. I was a champion back in the day, trained by the best trainer there ever was. And I'm giving to you straight. This is how you make changes and you take your training to the next level. Don't ever get stuck doing the same thing over and over again. You're never going to get out of that rut. You're never going to make the gains. That's why 95%, and I say 95% because it's the 5% of the training population that gets it and do everything that I've just explained to you. But the other 95% look the same every day, every week, every month, and every year. Nothing changes. I'm giving you the secrets on what makes a champion a champion. You heard it from me. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the gym. Peace out. 
Hey guys, if you got something valuable out of this video, please like, subscribe, and share. My channel is growing at a very, very uh, fast rate, and I really appreciate you. There's a link in the description below for a buy me a coffee. It's a donation site, but it's not so much as donation site. It's also a shop that I have where I have things that I offer you guys. I have a full year of online training. I have my Zoom calls. I have my download Untold Secrets of Bodybuilding book that I wrote last year. I also have a download for the competition guys and gals, the seven-day dial-in that Bob Gruskin had us do. I have it in great detail. All those are available for a download. And I got t-shirts on order. They're on the slow boat to China coming to the U.S. So as soon as I get them, I will have them out there for you guys. Everyone's asking me what supplements I take. Well, I put a list out of all the supplements that I take and a link on Amazon to each of those supplements. So all you got to do is click. It goes right to Amazon. You can make your purchase and they'll ship it right to you. All of my vitamins are purchased off of Amazon. I don't like going to the vitamin store. I haven't been to a vitamin store in years. I get all my supplements to Amazon shipped directly to me. And honestly, the prices are better. So with that being said, thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you back at Metroflex Gym, Tampa Brandon location. And I also see you back at my home gym. Until next, guy, until next time, you guys have a great workout and peace out.